trying to grow a YouTube channel comes with many challenges, not least comparing yourself to others. Well, this is uh, number five in a series of videos where I'm going deeper into the things I've been doing to grow and try and monetize my YouTube channel. Um, and I'll share some stats and wins from this week in a moment. But first of all, I wanted to just talk about comparisonitis. So welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Helen. I did actually start this channel, I don't know, I think it was about maybe about eight years ago, but it's evolved over the time, over the years, um, with the audience that I was focusing on and realizing recently that there's not a lot of content for us baby boomers. I'm approaching 61 in what's well, actually three weeks, no, four weeks today after making this video I'll be 61 and these days uh, creating content is not just the youngsters although I have been doing it many years since I was a lot younger in my 40s but um, but now I've realized that there is there are people sort of of, of my generation uh, 60 and above who, who are looking for inspiration and um, other people sharing their stories and I've been through a lot in my life and I thought well perhaps there's value in me sharing that because initially I was sort of recording well I still am recording guided meditations and EFT tapping but now I'm also sharing a bit about, about my story about what's behind all that well why do I meditate things that have happened in my life that it's helped me with with the um aim to inspire other women especially I, I mean obviously men as well but because I'm female and I'm you know a mother and other been had other challenges in my life that I know that I'll probably be more relatable to other women and that that can lead to comparing ourselves to others because when we see people on online on YouTube or social media that we don't we don't get the full story you know we see of oh, this um, wonderful life thinking and we, it can lead us to not feeling like we're not enough and in in the case if like me you're thinking oh I'd like to grow my channel and monetize it and the reasons that I'm doing that well there are many I enjoy it obviously otherwise wouldn't do it and also because of all the challenges in my life I I don't have um, make very many savings. I don't own my own home, um, and so I'm looking, you know, for ways to create an extra income for my retirement and my I reach official retirement age in six years and four weeks today, <laughs> when I'm 67. Um, well, technically, you know, when I started work, retirement age for women was 60, so I. Um, I would have been retired by now if they hadn't they hadn't raised it. Anyway, not much I can do about that. Uh, so, yeah, going back, yeah, comparing ourselves to others because we don't know, you know, people say to me, oh, you have a nice life, and I'm not complaining. I do have a nice life. It could be a lot worse. You know, I live in a country where it's safe and um, there's, you know, there's good transport, there's access to clean water and food and health services and welfare support. Okay, they're not perfect by any means, but it, it's also by no means the worst. And I did make a video about that a couple of weeks ago about, you know, gratitude and getting through some really difficult times. And that is it's a challenge for me because i see other people oh their videos get thousands of views they've got thousands of followers and here's me still with just a few hundred and but i know that 
in some ways that might be better because hopefully my nearly 400 followers are all people who relate to me and are interested and I know I have some dedicated followers uh, who comment on a lot of my videos and I really appreciate that because it helps you know the videos get found and to reach more people that I mean which is that is my motivation for doing it is to help people so there's no point in me comparing myself to others oh they've had it easier than me and blah de blah de blah well maybe they have but if I, if I feel that I'm less than because of that, that doesn't help me. Um, I still have, you know, I've got a lot to offer. And all my challenges and everything I've been through has made me stronger, made me more resilient, made me wiser. And if I can, you know, share some of my experiences that will help others going through similar and maybe, you know, because some of the things I've been through, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. So if there's like some of the stories that I share, that if that helps somebody else, then that's all that matters to me. It's not, it's not just about the money by any means. Although, you know, the reality is that I have to pay rent. <laughs> I have to pay my bills. And, um, and the way we do that in this day and age is with money. So, um, yeah. And so it's this way that I have to be able to manage my mental health and I can't work full time. I don't have the energy for that. Uh, so it's, it's about how can I work efficiently and create content that then upload, create it once and then hopefully it will pay me for many years to come which is why I love YouTube, because the videos are around for years, aren't they? I mean, I get suggested videos at like 15 years old, and some of my most watched videos are not the most recent ones. So um, so it's good to know that they're always there. So, yeah, so if you're on this journey too, I just, yeah, don't just stay in your own lane. Don't compare yourself to others. I know that the, the subscribers and comments that you get the people that you're speaking to and um they're the ones that that you that you uh that you're serving because you know i don't just do this for me for my sort of self-aggrandizement i do it because i because i genuinely want to help people and i write in my journal every day i impact the lives of 10 million women because that's where i'm aiming i want to make a difference in the world with by sharing my stories, by sharing what I've been through and reduce um, some of the stigma around things like mental health and addiction so people can not feel ashamed and reach out and get help. So, and also another way to monetize is by asking for donations and I've been receiving donations from my channel now so if you do feel moved to donate there's that option as well buy me a cup of tea because I'm British of course and it's it's only five pounds is well you can do multiples of that but it's not very much and it, of course as a well-known supermarket in the UK says every little helps and I appreciate you for watching me so I'm going to go over to the computer now and share this week's stats. So here are my figures for the growth of my channel this week. And as I said, it can, it's a real journey because you look at the numbers. I try not to look at them too often because it can be like, oh, somebody's unsubscribed and all. But then I remember, well, if they're unsubscribed, that's not bad because they weren't my people anyway. And, every, and, um, and again, it leads back to that thing about comparing yourself to others and I saw something I can't remember where oh it was up on Facebook or something it said post then ghost and I thought that's really good it's like you post forget about it because it can get really easy to get to sucked into oh I had my videos had any more views any more comments any more likes I got any more subscribers and it could end up being a bit all-consuming and I think it for me, it 
it's like anything it's about having faith that if I'm doing the right thing I'm authentic as I spoke about before then it will all come good when it's supposed to so I'm going to share my screen so we can look at some of the numbers I actually changed it to 90 days because I, and that's the other thing I say it's better to look at it over a longer period of time I never look at like the last seven days because sometimes it goes down a bit and that's fine but when you look at it over you get the bigger picture you can see it's still going in the right direction so at the top here I use a little plugin called vidIQ they do have a paid version but at the moment I just use a free one and at the top here it tells me I've had 441 hours of watch time in the last year and I'm aiming for 4,000 so that's gone up for 416 last week so that's good news that's just in the last 60 minutes which we're not on 48 hours which we're not really interested in and they do little graphs here so the hours watch you can see are steadily increasing um right say so the more recent ones and then this is what matters down here oh this has got the last seven days. It's not like it's got views, which has gone up, but it's this one, the important one, the amount of minutes that have watched up by 61%. So if that keeps going, if that increased by 61% every, every week, we'd get there quite quickly. So in the last 90 days, um, yeah, you can see that the watch time has gone up going to move my picture because I can change it then it's got you can it's it's going up consistently isn't it it's like here there weren't many views and then now my videos are getting much like nearly eight nearly eight hours that was yesterday yeah so um and then obviously you can look at the last 28 days or the last seven days seven days doesn't really tell you much but um so um, so the, the number of watch time has gone up in the last 28 days. I mean, because this gives you, in some ways, a better, um, I think, a, a better idea of how your channel's doing than the yearly figures, because that's that's obviously, if you average that out, that's less than um, 40, 40 hours a month. But in the last 28 days, I had 113 hours of watch time which is 63.6 not percent that's the amount of hours more than usual so more than twice as many that I would usually get and I am that sad I used to be a maths teacher I worked out it was 56 percent increase on last month 100 the number of subscribers 120 percent more than previous 28 days if it keeps growing at that rate if if, if it just stays at that rate but not only is the number of subscribers and views increasing. Also, the rate of increase is increasing as well. But if it just continued at that rate, I would um, qualify for the partner program in between three and four months, which is quite good. But I believe that I can actually do that in a lot less because the, it's not just the numbers, the amount that's going up, it's also the rate of increase, which is going up as well so I hope all that makes sense just a little math lesson there for you so I think that was all the things I wanted to show yeah the views I don't really bother about because um although the, the number of views has gone up because if some like I said before if somebody just watches it I can't remember what the minimum is to qualify for a view and that's why you can see video views going up and down down you, you might think oh, I've got this many views and then they go down a bit it's because I think you know YouTube adjusts it because if people have only watched it for a few seconds, that won't count. So they have to watch a certain amount for it to register as a view. So as I said, it's the watch time rather than the number of views. Because if you've got longer videos, you wouldn't get as many views if people were watching, watching it all, would you? So, um, so keep an eye on the watch time and the subscribers. They're the important numbers. And also, percentages how much they're going up by which is the last seven days I don't know if I can change it for that but 61 percent in the last seven days and what's good about this actually there aren't any red numbers because that was red for a bit the number of views that went down but I wasn't bothered about that because the 
because the number of minutes that watched was going up. And although there are dips there, that, that's because it does it on the, that was on Wednesday, it went down a bit. But since Wednesday, it's been going up again. So it will, it'll go like that. But what we're interested in is the overall trend. So if I go back to the last 90 days, you can see, yeah, although there were some spikes here, the overall trend is, is going upwards. So I'm going to stop sharing and finish uh, now. I've probably talked enough. And thank you for supporting me on my journey to grow this, this channel. And I love reading your comments and questions or anything, really. Um, feel free to reach out. I'm not one of these people, and I've seen other people doing that. Oh, I, then they decide, oh, I'm going to teach people how to grow and monetize their YouTube channel. I, I want to inspire you and give you some tips and things that I've learned along the way, but that is not what I'm about. <laughs> so I will see you again very soon. So the next guided meditation will be the next video. And in the meantime, take care, go well, lots of love. And I'm going to leave you with another shot of the sea because it's very windy out there today. So that's why I couldn't film a video on the beach. Take care. Bye.